If this is your first tutorial video that you are watching for WAVE, you are in the right place. This video is going to walk through quickly how to create your first card template. A card template is the combination of your own background image, waveform animations, text, and more that will help determine what your video will look like after you add audio into WAVE. The first thing that we want to do is head to the My Cards page and click Add Card to get started. Depending on where you want to post your WAVE video, it will be important to select the appropriate video dimensions. Horizontal is great for Facebook and YouTube, Square is perfect for Instagram videos, and Vertical works for Instagram Stories and Snapchat. Let's assume this video is going to be for an Instagram post, so we'll select the Square dimensions and hit Continue. Next, upload an image that will act as the background for your card. This is probably your podcast episode image, your album artwork, or iTunes artwork. Now we can start adding elements to the card design. A great place to start is with the waveform animation. When you click the waveforms button, the library of animation styles will pop up. Scroll through this feed and try a few different animations out. You can drag and drop them onto the canvas or just simply click to add an animation to the card design. You can move and resize animations as needed, so feel free to get it exactly how you want it. You can add text directly to the card design complete with custom fonts. Be sure to take a look at all the different font options to make sure you get it formatted exactly how you want it. If needed, you can always replace the background image or click the reset button to start from scratch. Once you have the design exactly how you want it, give the card a name and click save card. Now that the card's been saved, you'll see it appear on the left-hand My Cards menu. Remember, if you want to change anything about your card or redesign it from scratch, just hover over the card and click Edit, and you can go through the process again. Once you have the card set exactly how you want it and you're ready to create your first video, head to the Create page. The next video in the tutorial series will walk through how to upload audio, trim it, and use your card to create an MP4 file.